Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to revoke access to a token that you no longer own and you no longer going to, you sold off your token and that token has access to your wallet in terms of uh, allowance, okay? And this is something I do when I'm done with a token. When either either one, either was a, I no longer own the token, or I think something's uh, uh, maybe it was a, a scam. You bought a token that was a scam, and you just don't want anything to do with it. You don't want it accessing uh, your wallet, even if, in terms of the own token. But still, you just don't want that connection with your wallet. Just selling off the token is not good enough. You have to do the step. Okay, and it's pretty simple. There are plenty of websites to do this. Um, let's go to my wallet first. Okay, now in my case, I there's a particular uh, coin that I want to revoke the access to it now because I think it's a dead project. And it's this coin right here, ADA Mini. It's been dead for a few months now. I, I bought the token a few months back. And it's been, it's like, there's no more buying action and everything. The price is pretty low. It did pay me out in uh, Binance Peg ADA, which is nothing. I only had a small amount in there. I just want to see how, how the, um, just wanted to try out the token, see how it goes. But it seems to be a dead project now. So I'm going to remove the access to it. Okay. There's several ways of doing it. Um, some of it, you, you can go to the, straight to the, um, to their explorer, like the, for example, in this case, it will be the BSC scan for Binance. If it's on Ether, it'll be Ether scan. You can go in there and go through that step. Um, I found a simpler way, which is this website, app.unrect.net. It is a smart contract allowance checker. So you could also check what you log in. This is the uh, address, so you, it would be a button here that says connect, you connect to your wallet. And this is the ones that I have allowance on my BSC, my Binance Smart Chain in my MetaMask wallet. So as you can see, I got Safe Moon 1 and 2, which I'm going to keep those for now. Safe Moon is, you know, it's okay, because I'm getting reflections from them. That's why I keep that one. Of course, I got Cake. I'm staking two different... Um, to the I actually yes, I own cake, but I'm also staking to to get cake. So that when anytime you're staking or you're getting allowances, this is why they want you to authorize uh, access or allow access. And of course, J Protocol, which is is still paying, but it's very low right now. So I keep that one for now. It is not a scam. As many people think, it's, some people, I, get, I get comments all the time that it's a scam. It's not a scam. It's just that it's, it's down in price. And it's just going through some uh, restructuring. And then here goes the one that I'm going to remove. ADA Mini. This is a dead project. Um, Like I said, I bought this uh, a while back. And it's it's not paying any more. Uh, this token in particular, when, when I bought this token, every three days it pays you... Um, ADA, but it's Binance Peg ADA, okay? Cardano, Binance Peg Cardano. And uh, you will get that every three days, but it's not paying after a, a few weeks. And um, since then, it's, it's, I, I believe it's a dead project. So I'm going to revoke it. So how you do that is you just, you click here, revoke. You're going to get a pop-up saying to, it says, but you act, what you're doing is actually giving permission to revoke, and it's a small gas fee. I'm gonna click on confirm. Okay, it takes a few seconds. As you can see, it went through. We got the green thumbs up. Okay, so that's how you remove that. I am going to refresh it while it's still connected. Actually, I'm gonna have to connect. I refreshed and I had to uh, reconnect to my wallet and let's scroll down 
as you can see it's gone so now my wallet is no longer uh, author, uh, giving any type of authorization to ADA Mini. That's it. It's completely cut off. So there's no way that that token can backdoor into my wallet. Okay. So right now, these are the ones that I have left on on my wallet for Binance Smart Chain, Safe Moon, uh, Cake, which is Pancake Swap token. NJ protocol, which I'm still staking in there. Okay, so this is how you revoke the allowance on your MetaMask wallet. And I do this with any token that I'm no longer uh, owning. Either I sold them off, and I'm not gonna buy uh, at the, with the, without the. Basically, if I'm never gonna buy them again, uh, I just cut off cut off any connection with the token. And this is how you go about it, you know? And this is good to check also. Every once in a while, you should check your allowance on every smart chain because, you you know, you might have forgot. Maybe you bought a token a while back and it might have turned out to be a scam and you, they can still have access to your wallet somehow. This is a way to um, remove it, remove all ties with that token, okay? So I just wanted to share this with you because... um. Uh, this is something I, I, I knew for uh, a bit, but uh, this is a simpler way of doing this because there's, there's other methods of doing this, but uh, this is the, I found this to be the easiest way of doing this. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please uh, share the video. And also, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And uh, with that, I'll see you soon. Happy New Year. Take care. Bye-bye.